What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we have our BoxyCharm unboxings for the month of April. I have our classic base box as well as BoxyCharm premium to unbox with you guys today. I am super excited that it is April. Spring is here and summer is coming. Thank goodness it finally is starting to get warm here in New Jersey. Hopefully it is warm where you guys are at. I love the warm weather and yeah, I'm super excited for the spring and summertime. If you guys are new to BoxyCharm or my BoxyCharm unboxings, it's basically a monthly subscription service where you get beauty products sent right to your door. The base box is $25 per month. The premium box is $35 per month. In the classic base box, you're guaranteed five full-size beauty products for that $25. And then in the premium, you're guaranteed six to seven full-size beauty products for $35. So it's an additional $10 per month. And we will add up the values of the products in both of the boxes so we can see how much they're both worth. Thank you to BoxyCharm as always for partnering with me and sending me out these boxes to review for you guys. I'm super excited. So without further ado, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can know Divide of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. Also, I should mention I only have my base makeup done today because I figured we could use some of the products in these boxes and like test them out together. So first let's go in with the classic box and see what she's got for us. Literally using a little scissor that I used to cut eyelashes to cut open my box charm boxes because I don't know where my box cutter is. Super cute. So this month's little theme is sweet treats. I love that. And then this is the card that says everything inside, but I don't like to look at that. I like to be surprised. Okay, right on top it says palette, Jubilee palette. It's in like cardboard packaging. Oh my God, wait, it says Natasha Denona on the back. I didn't even see that. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bougie, bougie. Natasha Denona is very, very nice. High end brand. I have never seen this palette before. This reminds me so much of Easter and that just passed. Um, definitely Easter vibes with this palette. This is the Jubilee five eyeshadow palette. Definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's a good thing to try new things. And Natasha Denona is very super high end. So that's actually really, really cool that we got that in BoxyCharm. So it's one of her little five shadow palettes. So love that. We will definitely test that out. And the value on that is $48. Oh, it says it's a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm. Got it. Okay, cool. Ooh, up next we have the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. Very, very cool. Okay, so I've tried um, a different primer from them. I think it's the No Pore Blum. It's like a pore filling primer from them that I got in a box charm in the past that I really liked. So it says it's silicone free and has a cooling effect. Cute little pink packaging. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Ooh, it's very cool. It's not like a liquid, like it's more like a solid. Oh my God, and it literally feels really cooling. Ooh, that's really interesting. But then it just like melts into the skin like butter. Wow, okay, that's actually really cool. Has like a florally kind of scent to it. Typically I like my primer products to be unscented, but it's not like a crazy scent, but I definitely like the way that it feels. Very cooling, definitely an interesting product. So I'll be interested to try that out more. The value on this is $32. Up next we have, I don't know what the brand of this is. I think, is it Queen? Veen? I don't know. Cute packaging. This is the Dragon Lash Tubing Mascara. And it just has like dragons all over it. Okay, interesting. Tubing mascara I think is supposed to like really make your lashes length go, you know, make them really long. So we will definitely test this out. I'm gonna like unbox all the products first and then we'll do like the testing of the product. So this will definitely get tested. Um, let's see what the value of this is. Okay, so Que... que <laughs> Why can I say this? Q-V-E-E-N. Queen? I don't know. Studio Dragon Lash Mascara. Um, $18 is the value on that. I keep wanting to say queen, but it's not. It's Q-V-E-E-N. Okay, up next we have, oh my God, lots of dragon stuff. Now this is Dragon Beauty, which is uh, Nikita Dragon's brand. Uh, so this is her Dragonfire Color Corrector. All right. And it's like a light pinky, kind of like almost lavender type shade. This is scented a little bit. Let's see what the lavender is supposed to do. So it says, perfect the appearance of dark circles, discoloration, and blemishes. Oh, and it has vitamin A and vitamin E in it, which is really nice. And it says the value on this is $25. I'll kind of blend some. Oh wow, it does actually blend into the skin really, really nicely. I thought like the purple would be harder, you know, to blend out, but that actually did a really nice job. It kind of morphed into the skin well. So that's interesting, very cool. Okay, last product we have here is the Terre de Mars. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Gel body cleanser. Okay, so is this like specifically, like is it a body wash or is it like a, I think this is like a body wash, body cleanser. So it says this is a soft cleanser suitable for all skin types. Okay, so on the product it says body cleanser, but then on the little card it does say suitable for all skin types. It helps to tone, purify, and protect the skin. So I'm kind of like, maybe this is for your face too, but I think it's mostly meant to just be like a body wash. It has, ooh, it has coffee extract in it. So it's 
Does it smell like coffee? It has aloe in it, which is always nice, especially going into summer. Mm. I don't really smell much from it. If anything, it's lightly scented, but I can always use a body wash. So the value on this one is $22. So that was everything in my base box. So let's add up all the values and see how much it was worth. So we have $48 for the Natasha Nona palette. That was probably my favorite product in this box. Um, then we have $32 for the primer. I definitely like that too. $25 for the Dragon Beauty color corrector. $18 for the mascara and then $22 for the body wash for a grand total of $145. Again, for $25. So that was the base box. Now let's go ahead and see what Boxy Premium has in store for us and see what's inside here. Okay, up first we have this Crystal Ball Roller Glass Duo. So I have no idea what this is. It's from Nails Inc. So is it for your nails? Trusty little lash scissors yet again. That lashes are literally sucked too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're lip glosses. So I guess the brand is just called Nails Ink, but they're lip glosses. I was excited. I thought they were nail products, but they actually look really cool. So this one has, so they have like crystals in them, which is really cool. This one has like purple and this one's like that light pink one. I forgot what it's called, but they're just like those roll on lip glosses. This brings me back to my childhood. I need to put on one right now. I feel like nothing is coming out though. Oh, there we go. Gotta get it rolling at first. Mmm, really silky. Rose kind of scent to it. Oh, rose quartz, is that what the light pink one, the light pink crystal is called? I think that is what it is. But yeah, these are infused with real crystals to stimulate lip circulation and wake up the chakras. Cool. I have never tried anything like this, but that is really, really cool. And the value on those are $24. Okay, my camera died. Thought we were recording, but we weren't. Now we're back. Um, all right, so we got the lip glosses. Up next is this Dose of Colors eyeliner. I love Dose of Colors. I've gotten a lot of their products in BoxyCharm actually and really enjoyed them. Packaging on this is so cute. It looks like a little pencil and it is a really pretty green shade. Oh my God, very, very pigmented. That's so pretty. So we'll definitely use this and incorporate it into our eye look today that we do when we test out the products. That's really, really pretty. Love that. And the value on that is $15. Okay, up next, my eyes immediately went to this NARS box. I love NARS and this is a blush from NARS. I love their blushes. It's probably my favorite product that they make. So very excited about that. Let's see see what shade we got. We got it in the shade Gady, I believe is how you pronounce it. Oh, that is so, so pretty. Oh my God, such a pretty like pastel-y bright pink with like a purpley undertone. That is really beautiful. I'm excited to test this out. Love NARS blushes, so very excited about that. This is $30, it's a matte finish, and it looks really, really pretty. Oh my goodness, lots of good brands in this month's premium. Now we have Fenty, and this is their Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, which I actually really like. Wow, okay, lots of good brands this month. We got Natasha Denona in the base box, we have Fenty, NARS, like all these really nice brands this month, which is awesome. So yeah, this is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. I think this is like her original one. I think she has two, one that's more dewy, one that's more matte. I I think this is the more matte one, but it says on here, makeup primer for all skin types, pore diffusing, smoothing, instant retouch effects. So it should work regardless of if you're oily or dry. So that's really, really nice, really nice packaging and stuff on this. Love that and the value on that is $32. Then we have this, I think I know what these are. I think they are like little reusable, yes. Okay, so I actually just recently purchased some of these. It was from a different brand. This brand is Lux and Willow. So definitely interested to see, but these are basically like reusable cotton rounds. And these ones specifically are reusable bamboo makeup remover pads. So basically, instead of just using a new one every single time you're taking your makeup off, you can get reusable ones and then you can clean them and keep using them. So you actually just put them in this little bag, cause it's like a mesh bag, and then when they're dirty, you just put them like this, throw them in your washing machine, wash, dry, you're done. So it's really, really easy. So definitely excited to try these out and it's a lot less wasteful than using a new one every single time. So that's really cool. It says they're antimicrobial and hypoallergenic and the retail value on these is $20 and you get, how many is there? I think four, yeah, four of these pads. And these are nice, they're like thick, they're not like super thin or anything, so that's exciting. Definitely gonna test these out. And then last, but certainly not least, I see something from Iconic London. This is the Sunset to Sunrise eyeshadow palette. It's a big eyeshadow palette. Ooh, oh my goodness gracious, this is so pretty. I feel like I have this. 
eyeshadow palette though. This is beautiful, but I feel like I'm like 99% sure that I own this already. Maybe not. Maybe I have a different palette from them that just looks like this, but this is beautiful. Love this. Lots of really beautiful colors in here. Ooh. Very, very pretty. Dang, those shimmers are beautiful. This reminds me of summer. Love that. And the value on that is $62. Yes, because there's 20 different shades in there. Okay, so let's add up the value on the premium box. We have $62 for the Iconic London Eyeshadow Palette. We have $30 for the NARS Blush. $32 for the Fenty Primer. We have $24 for the, oh, the roller glosses, $20 for the makeup remover pads, and then $15 for the eyeliner for a total of $183. Okay, I went ahead and zoomed you guys in so we can try some of these products. I definitely wanna try this Natasha Denona palette because this is very far out of my comfort zone, so I figured we could definitely try this today. So, let's go in with this shade right here first. And I'm gonna just work that into my crease as a neutral transition shade. This shade is kinda like a burnt peach like it definitely has like peachy undertones to it but it is a matte finish and so far blending well okay now we're gonna go with this brighter pink shade this is also a matte so I'm going to apply this in the crease to introduce that more pinky kind of tone and then also bring it in the outer kind of corner of my eye these two colors actually flow well together because that first shade we used had that peachy kind of undertone to it so it goes nice with this pink and they seem to be blending into each other easily same thing on this side okay Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this yellow because it looks really pretty. I'm gonna use my finger for this because it's more of a shimmer. Ooh, looks nice. I'm gonna press this on the lid. Oh wow, this is really, really pretty and really, really pigmented. This is one of the perks of me not having nails on right now. I can use my fingers to press the shadow on and it looks so pretty. Love this shade and I normally don't use like a lot of yellow or anything on my eyes, but this is really, really pretty. It has a beautiful shimmer to it. And then I'm just gonna go in the inner corner corner real quick. Oh wow, it applies really nice with a brush too. And just bring the shade in there to highlight and brighten. And I'm also gonna bring that beneath the brow bone to highlight that area. Okay, now normally with a look that's light and bright like this, I wouldn't necessarily use like a black. I would probably do like a softer kind of liner, but I want to use this black. So I'm gonna go with a tiny little like brow brush and I'm gonna use this as my liner on my top lid. And I'm gonna just place this. Oh, oh my God. Okay, see this is why we do this. This is not black, wow. Okay, so it looks totally different I feel like. Once it's swatched, like in the pan, it really looks like it's black, but it's not. It's like a really deep aquamarine, like blue color. That's actually really, really pretty. Okay, now I feel better about using that as, as liner. That's really, really pretty. Okay, colors can be deceiving when they're in the pan. So I'm gonna go and line the eye with this and do a little wing with it as well. Do you guys see that pretty like bluish? Ooh, it's like the ocean. Then I'm just fading it into the inner corner. Wow, okay, that's actually really pretty. I was nervous, but I like I like how this is coming out. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but still a pretty look. The shadow's actually blending really easily as like a liner. Like it's easy to place it where you want and then to blend it out. Okay, I like that. Now, of course, we need to go in with this pretty kind of teal color. So I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. I have it on this brush. This has a lot of shimmer to it, so we'll see how this works. It might not really work for the lower lash line. I mean, it's coming off, but definitely I think this would be better like as an all over the lid color, but we obviously already have the yellow, but you can build it up underneath the eye. It's just a little bit more pastel-y. So maybe what I'll do is bring a little bit more of that really deep shade and bring it and place it super close to the lash line and then go in with that lighter shimmer and like blend it out like so, just to kind of buff and smudge it. Okay, now I'm gonna jump in with the Dose of Colors little eyeliner that we got. The shade on this is Maybe Baby, so cute. And this is like a green. And I'm gonna pop this into the waterline. Let's see if it works in there. Okay, yes it does, it shows up nicely. And it actually works really well with that color we did on the lower lash line. And I'll tight line with this as well. This is really pigmented and applying good because not all liners apply nicely like on the waterline and tight line areas, but this one, no problem. Okay, now this mascara we need to try. This is again the Dragon Lash Tubing Mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes real quick. Okay, lashes are curled, so let's go in with this. I've never tried anything from this brand. And let's wiggle this mascara on and see. It has like a curved little wand. And let's see what she does for our lashes. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I wasn't kind of expecting. This is actually giving me a lot of length. That's about one coat. I haven't re-dipped my brush like in here yet. They're a little spidery, like they're definitely like defined and long. But for my short stubby little lashes, not half bad. 
let's go in on the other side. It's definitely like a stickier kind of formula, like you can feel it like sticking to the lashes when you apply it, which I prefer more stickier, like thicker formulas than like a liquidy one. So I feel like the liquid formula is just my lashes just like fall flat. I definitely think with this mascara, like less is more. Like I feel like I really didn't use a lot, but I think I'm like done. Like I don't, th I think if I do any more, it's gonna look really, it might look like clumpy. But I mean, it definitely makes my lashes pop. I'm gonna go in on my lower lashes with this now. Let's see how it works on them. Okay, we are lashed out. My lashes are actually, this made them so long that I got a little bit up there. I'm gonna just go in with a clean spoolie. Take it off a little tip. If you get any mascara, a little spoolie like this will work really nicely. Definitely bold. Gonna make your lashes bold and very long. Less is more with this product, but I think if you have natural lashes that are short and stubby and nothing really works, this may work really nicely for you. And you'll only have to use a little bit of it. Like I feel like I used a little too much, but now I know for next time. Okay, next let's go in with the NARS blush. Just so pretty, and I feel like that goes actually really nice with our eye look that we did. Just grabbing a clean little blush brush, and then gonna pop this on the cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty, because I feel like sometimes shades like this, people might not think they're like wearable, but once they're applied to the skin, they really are, and they just like morph into the skin. I love NARS blushes for that, and this is a really pretty pink for your cheeks. I really, really like that, and it's definitely very wearable. Super pretty. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with with this crystal ball roller gloss. This one is the purple one. And I'm gonna roll this on. These aren't gonna give you like any color or anything to your lips, but they actually feel really nice. When you first do it, you have to like put them like this to get it to come out. Then you're good once it starts coming out. But it does give a nice pretty glossiness to the lips and feels very nice and nourishing. Ooh, this one has a really pretty set. I like this one. So I feel like you could actually wear this underneath your lipstick if you wanted something that was gonna nourish your lips or you could apply it on top if you wanted something with a little gloss but it's not gonna give you any like specific color. It's just clear but does feel really nice on the lips. So that is everything you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing slash try on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a link to BoxyCharm right down below as always if you guys wanna check it out and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.